Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I think the Western world would agree that uh, assassinating or trying to assassinate journalists is very, very bad thing, regardless who does it and uh, who the journalists are. I mean, that's the way it should be probably in a real-world, rule-based uh, international order. Remember? Okay. Get that in your head. Rule-based. That's what these guys are talking about. Well, it seems like when uh, <clears throat> uh, our people uh, try to assassinate um, some Russian bad, bad, bad journalists, or you can just label them as propagandists, which probably is no more a journalist, therefore, I guess, is uh, uh, okay, but uh, <laughs> obviously it's not, but it seems to be for these guys. Uh, then if you label them differently, so instead of calling someone a journalist, but you call him a propagandist, somehow, if Ukraine tries to assassinate those guys, somehow uh, is not uh, as it should be, you know, bad, bad thing. Uh, here it is, an article from, uh, I can find the one in uh, Russia today, but I said let's use the Ukrainians because it's better. Why, uh, you know, let them incriminate themselves. I'm just kidding. Ukrainska Pravda. Russia's Federal Security Service claims it prevented murder or assassination of propagandist, and with that one you're supposed to not care, Simonian and Sobachak. Sobchak. So when they use this one, uh, that means, well, these guys uh, are against our narrative, and they push a different narrative, like we push our narrative, and but we're not propagandists. When they push their narrative, uh, they are propagandists. Okay? July 15th, 2023. The Federal Security Services of the Russian Federation, FSB, has claimed, you see, these guys can be journalists as well. Uh, the New Voice of Ukraine, or Ukrainska Pravda, or, you know, CNN. When something is claimed by someone you don't like, and you don't want to use it as, hey, they, you use this, they as claimed or stated or, you know, alleged or reported, which is true. These are the words you should use, you know, has claimed that it prevented the preparation of the murder of Margarita Simonian, Russian propagandist, and Ksenia Sobchak by the Ukrainian Secret Services. For instance, when the Ukrainians are claiming something, like for instance, uh, we destroyed, as I just covered an article a minute ago, when they uh, claim that HIMARS destroyed an S-400, Russian F S S-400, then they don't say they claimed. No, no, they did it. They did it. When the Russians are saying, well, a Patriot system was destroyed by this, or this was destroyed, HIMARS was destroyed by our Air Force and so on, these guys say, oh, the Minister of Defense of the Russian Federation claims, which that, yeah, that's exactly the word you should use. But you should use it in both sides when someone really comes and claims, hey, yesterday I flew to the moon and back. And you would tell your friends, Emil claims he flew to the moon and back. <laughs> We're not going to say, hey, Emil flew to the moon and back. Uh, it doesn't go that way. But this is how they say it. They take it as a fact versus a claim. So let's see what these guys are saying here. Source. Kremlin-aligned Russian news agency RIA Novosti. And what are you, uh, Ukrainska Pravda? Kiev-aligned 100%. <laughs> it's okay. Again, details. The Federal Security Service of the Russian Federation reported that, and I'm quoting, neo-Nazis from the uh, par paragraph 88 grouping had been allegedly detained in Moscow and Ryazan Oblast, who, and I'm quoting, carried out intelligence at the addresses of work and residence of Simonian and Sobchak. A Kalashnikov assault rifle with rounds, rubber batons, knives, brass knuckles, and handcuffs were seized from the detainees. They were just uh, defending themselves. Russian told the FSB, Russians told the FSB that the allegedly prepared attempts, and I'm quoting, on the instructions of the Security Service of Ukraine, and quote, for a reward of 1.5 million rubles, about 16,620. US dollars for each murder. Now remember, right here, this guy was blown up uh, in St. Petersburg, whatever his name is, I uh, can't remember his name, Tatarsky, Tutarsky. Remember, was blown up by a uh, um, 
a bomb. <laughs> they say, well, it was, the, it was this and it was that. Okay, but he was, again, a blogger, a propagandist. Remember Daria Dugina, the daughter of Alexander Dugin? Again, a journalist in Russia was blown up, not supposedly being the main target. He, Alexander Dugin, was the main target. Again, the mass media... Here in the United States of America. Imagine, just imagine, imagine that let's say uh, would be someone from CNN, God forbid, uh, you know, uh, blown into pieces like Dugina. What would happen? And make a direct you know, connection between that and a drunk Russian, let's put it this way, not even FSB or anything like that. Do you think, how, do you think the mass media in the West will keep this alive for months? Every day, every day, for good reason, for good reason. The problem is, these guys have no values. Their values are situational, and there's no, no value, or principles. If you have a principle, I'm not gonna steal. Well, you don't steal, even if you see, hey, nobody would ever catch me, only God, okay? Uh, <laughs> no, don't worry about that one then, <laughs> my case at least. So you say, okay, uh, no man, um, I'm not stealing, I respect myself. Walk away. Now, that's a principle. That's a value. Um, and other people could be, uh, I don't know, uh, led by other incentives. I don't know, religious beliefs or something else. Uh, not me, but that's me. Who cares? And enough about me. Let's move to these guys. So what I'm trying to say is those guys probably were targeted, even if the Russians, even if the Russians made this up, even if they did. The way these guys uh, reported it, disgraceful. And I don't think I'm going to find the same uh, uh, article in the Western media. I don't know, picked up by uh, CNN or anything like, oh my God, how do you call that? Let's say, let's say the first one. If it's made up by the Russians, okay, it's made up by the Russians. It's self-explanatory. But let's say it is true. I mean, what option is there? It, it is true. Uh, that, let's say, the Ukrainian um, uh, security services, secret services, however you want to, you know, they planned on killing these guys. Now, what should we, should we say about it? So far, those guys claimed the, uh, it is the Ukrainians. The Ukrainians are trying to assassinate, according to the Russians, remember according, according to the Russians, some uh, journalists. Any outrage, anybody? Crickets, crickets, crickets. Um... That's why I don't, I don't jump into uh, the frenzy and, um, how do you call it, uh, craziness, hysteria of Ukraine, 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 Russia, Russia, Russia. Because you see how these guys are interpreting a rape when it's done by one of them? Not like a rape, but when it's done by anybody else, for good reasons, it's cold as it is and it's, uh, uh, you know... Uh, how do you call it, condemned and all that, as it should be. But when they do it, it's not a rape. It's actually providing services to a, a victim. And it's actually not a victim because the, the, the person benefited of uh, some services and she did not pay. And it was done for free. I mean, that's how the, these guys interpret all this shit. Right now, they call it propagandist. I guarantee you that if, and I hope not, those people lose their lives in this kind of method, way, these guys are not going to shed a tear. Why? Because in their, they were propagandists. Why? They didn't, they didn't agree with you. And then on the other hand, would you like them to do the same thing to you? Of course not. Because we are not propagandists. Only they are. Let me play some Paganini. All right. And then uh, we can move on. I just wanted to point out that uh, this uh, lack, of, lack of values or principles or selective but if they're selective, they're selective principles and values, supposedly, these are not values. These are just, uh, you know, pick and choose. Yeah, you can say, well, right now is good, uh, tomorrow is not good. Again, good, it is or it not, it's not good to steal. Well, sometimes when I do it, it's good, but if someone does it to me, it's not good. Because I'm a good person and they're a bad person, says uh, me. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.